It's time to pack our passport because me and you, we're going to a new country today. By the end of this video, we will be in the new country, the destination for the next level adventure. And uh, I'm really excited. <laughs> this will be like episode zero of the new series because the new series is gonna be a bit different to what we've done on the channel before and you'll see when it begins next week. Um, but I just thought we would do a bit of a chilled travel day vlog today. Obviously I'll be spending a lot of time abroad. I have many trips planned this year and I'll explain more about these in this video. By the end of this video, by the way, you'll know not only where, we, where we're going for the next level, but where we're gonna be going all year because I've got about three or four trips confirmed. Touch wood. We don't have any nasty um, <laughs> COVID flare-ups or anything crazy like that. If everything goes to plan, we should go about six or seven months of the year abroad this year. I want to kind of make this travel day vlog a little bit more sort of dynamic, a little bit more interesting than just getting a taxi to the airport and getting on a flight because I want to share some things that I've learned. I've learned a lot. Yeah, I think one of the first things that I've learned and something that I never thought was possible is that it is actually a thing. You can be a solo, full-time traveler and have a girlfriend. <laughs> I never really thought you could have both. I thought, you know, you either had to choose the road or wifey. We're not married, but you know what I mean? I never thought it was possible to live on the road full time and be away for so long, having a mad adventure every day and have a happy relationship. And look, it is all Miss P, okay? She has made this possible. She's so understanding, she's so chill that I just go off and do things. She is so supportive that I get to just, number one, go and have five weeks. It's like we're just about to do today. Uh, start beginning today, five week trip, and then I'll be off to Nepal, guys. We're gonna go to Nepal in April, I think. Um, I'm gonna try and do the Everest base camp and a few other treks. We'll see how my legs go. We'll see what the physical effects of that trip will do. I plan to go um, in the summer. I think it would be kind of cool to go to Japan and Korea, maybe one or the two, we'll see. And then in the autumn, I'll be going to Chile and Argentina. I'll be going to Patagonia. And the most exciting thing is I'll be going to Antarctica. Um, I've got a tour booked and I'll share more details throughout the year. Um, so lots of trips, guys, lots of trips. And my girlfriend supports me. She lets me go off and do my thing. She's on the phone um, whenever I need her to be on the phone. She messaged me when she messaged me. She's the perfect, girlfriend um i don't know many women who would put up with their boyfriend being away for so long and wanting so much time to himself and you know all the rest of it i don't know how she puts up with me basically but she does and she's amazing and miss p if you're watching thank you i love you very much you let me be me and you know you don't stress me out in any way and i love you and i didn't think that, that was possible <laughs> that's something i've learned this is another thing that i've learned guys is, you know, a rough plan goes a long way. Now, this might look like a crazy itinerary and you might think, God, Paddy, I thought you were like a solo adventurer, like just living day by day, wherever the open road takes you. That is how I've lived and that's how I like to travel. But because we're going to the we need like four or five flights to get around and you need to book some of them ahead of time. So I've done that. I've also, because I've had a lot of time to sort of plan this trip, um, I've made a rough plan, but I've also decided on two or three spectacular adventures and spectacular things to do, but they need to be booked weeks and months in advance um, to secure your space because they're very popular and you can't just turn up on the day. One thing I've learned is when you, sometimes when I'm on the road, I might get somewhere amazing and then I don't have a booking. It's not possible to do on the day. So this trip has been slightly a little bit more planned than normal, but there will be m big chunks of this trip where I'm just kind of like winging it and just going with the flow. I'm trying to produce a really good series, guys. This series that's beginning next week, episode one, 
you'll see it's a little bit different to what I've done before and it's going to be a little bit different to what's on YouTube but I think it's time to throw a spanner in the works and just express myself and, and, and just live willy-nilly. Um, I'm going to have my cup of tea, just send a couple of emails and then we'll pack the bag and get going because it's already, like I need to leave in 45 minutes actually. <laughs> okay, shit. Another really important thing that I've learned recently, and this is something that my friend told me, and at first I was like, okay, that's a little bit, mm, hippie vibes, not really sure this is actually useful, but I did it, and it is such a useful thing, because sometimes, guys, you know, when you have a, the uh, time just passes us by, one minute we're 22, without a care in the world, and the next minute we're 36 years old, and Sometimes you just, you know, life and time just passes you by and you don't really sort of take stead and document exactly how much you've accomplished and what things you've done, big or small, big or small. So what I decided to do was listen to my friend's um, advice and he said, look, at the end of every month, either the last day of the month or the first day of the month, write down all of your accomplishments, all of the things that you achieved in that month that you just finished. And it can be anything, it can be about, a personal goal, a financial goal, a creativity thing that you hit, uh, something you did at work, some something that you did that helped out a friend or a family member. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, oh, I climbed Mount Everest. <laughs> it, you know, small things, and I've started doing it, um, and it's amazing. It's an amazing little thing. You write down everything that you did in that previous month, all of your accomplishments, because sometimes you know you just go from one month to the next month and. You didn't really take any note of what you've achieved and then it's just on to the next one, on to the next one and then sometimes you need to just take a deep breath, write down what you've accomplished and then you sort of feel like you've done something with your life and like, you know, you haven't just been on your phone watching TikTok on the toilet every day. <laughs> so yeah, I really encourage you to write down all of your accomplishments, big or small, every month. It's always the furthest gate away, isn't it? We're through immigration and security, gate F6. I had a bit of a fail. I was feeling confident. I was like, oh, my, my luggage is really light. I'll just take it on as carry-on. So I asked if I could check it in. I mean, I asked if I could just board with my bag. And she said, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's not that heavy. And I was thinking, brilliant. <laughs> But I forgot I had my expensive sun cream, moisturizer, and my David Beckham aerosol. Which of course you can't take on the flight, so they've confiscated that. That was a bit of a rookie mistake. <laughs> it's time for my annual <laughs> free squirt of aftershave. Every time I get to an airport, I always test one out. I never buy it, but I always do it because I think the person sitting next to me on the flight will be like, oh, he smells nice, he must be rich. <laughs> Another fail was I went to exchange foreign currency. Now, usually in Thailand, you need to go to Super Rich in Bangkok. You can get a really good rate, but I didn't have time and I forgot. And I was gonna get some money here, but when you Google like how much you should get, like I was gonna take 50,000 Thai baht and then exchange it to, and according to Google, it should be 81,900. 
So I was like, if she says to me 81,000, I'll say yes. And then she tried, she gave me the ticket and it said 50,000 baht would be 71,000. I worked it out. It would be like $200 charge to bring out like, I don't know, about about $1,500. So it's like, it's like 15, no, it's about 8% charge. Absolutely ridiculous. So I'm just going to hope that when, when I get to the that the ATMs uh, don't rinse me for charges. This is another rookie mistake. But the good thing is I can get some work done a little bit. I've got about an hour and a half to kill so I can start editing this video and do some emails and stuff like that. Another thing that I've learned in the past couple of years is the importance of a VPN. Now the VPN that I use is NordVPN and this is a perfect example. Now I come into an airport with an open source Wi-Fi and you know thousands of people around us. Not the safest place to be surfing the web, checking your emails, doing online banking or whatever you want to be doing. So you know with NordVPN you open it up you change your location, a secure VPN, and you can browse easily, safely, and stress-free, very important. Another thing that you might not be aware of when it comes to VPNs is with NordVPN, you switch your location, you can find cheaper flights. For example, when I was trying to book a flight to Manila, I had a look on my usual website. I think I used Kiwi.com, it's like a search engine. I use those guys all the time. But then when I switched my location, I actually found the t flight to Manila a little bit cheaper, not too much, but sometimes you can save a lot of money, especially if you're doing long haul across the world, you know, transatlantic, trans-Pacific flights. You just change your location, and not only do you open up yourself to new libraries of Netflix, Disney+, Plus, but you can also find cheaper flights, which is just priceless. And uh, yeah, NordVPN are offering you guys a really good deal. All you have to do is click the link in the description or head over to NordVPN forward slash Paddy Doyle and check out the incredible deal and discount that they're offering you right there in the description. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this part of the video. And I'm going to quickly finish my coffee and we'll head to the gate and uh, catch our flight. Is our plane. Okay, welcome to our flight. Pretty unorganized uh, boarding process. <laughs> this is going to take some time. Yes. For everybody to get on, because there was no, there was no structure, there was no zone. They just said boarding has begun, and everyone rushed to the front. Luckily, I was near the front, so I can sit down a little bit. <laughs> it's quite bright and colourful. Anyway, here's another thing I've learned. I am still far from perfect. I'm nowhere near where I want to be. I still drink too much. I don't drink too much, I just drink too often. I still eat shit food, I'm still unhealthy. Even though I've really been working on that, I'm still far from where I want to be. I still have bad habits. I'm just, I don't speak to my family as much as I should. I don't catch up with my friends, I don't, I don't follow up with my best mates and see how they're doing. I'm quite self-centered. I'm selfish a little bit still. I like, there's so many things I want to work on and I'm trying to improve but I'm just not quite there yet. Made it.
two hours later, <laughs> we're through immigration. That was a struggle. And welcome. Can you guess where we are? We're in the Philippines. We're in Manila. Let me get in a taxi and I'll tell you the last thing that I've learned. And we'll get our first glimpse of this country. First time I've ever been here. Very excited, very excited. Okay, so it looks like we're just gonna sit in this queue for another half an hour, but that's okay. We're nearly there now. We're nearly gonna be at our hotel where we can chill, unpack a little bit, get some sleep, and begin our big adventure tomorrow. And that leads me on to the final thing that I've learned. From two years of doing YouTube, from two years of solo traveling, I've realized that my greatest skill is also my biggest weakness. <laughs> and that's this, you know, just, not standing in a taxi rank, but traveling solo. Setting sails for the road, the, the world unknown. That doesn't make any sense, I'm tired. <laughs> and doing all the things and facing all the things that happen to you when you do travel solo. Loneliness and sadness and stress and injury and sickness and loss. Solo travel is also the source of, you know, a lot of my weaknesses. It causes me to moan, it causes me to question what I'm doing, it causes me to feel lonely, it causes me quite a lot of stress. But on the other side of the pendulum, a much heavier, more forceful side and a happier side of this balance. I just love it. I just love this. I just love being in a new country, new sights, new smells. And I, this feeling that a new adventure is about to begin. I'm gonna leave it here because in the next episode, the first episode of the Philippines series, the next level, things are gonna level, level up. It's gonna be a real travel series, solo adventure, documentary. I've got a lot planned, lots of things are gonna happen and it will be in a new and fresh style. Something a little bit strange, something a little bit different. And as I said earlier at my condo this morning, I just wanted to throw a spanner in the works a little bit, try something new. See if it lands. If it doesn't land, I don't care because, um, you know, we live in a world where it's copy and paste, especially, it, you know, TikTok, social media, and in a massive way, travel videos, especially here in the Philippines. The Philippines is the worst for it. People just make the same videos over and over and over again. So I'll be doing something a little bit different, but you'll see when it comes on next week. So tune in for episode one of Searching for Paradise in the Philippines. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring. Check them out. Get one for your travels, guys. Really important. And I'll see you very soon from the first episode. You shine like gold, so selfless to all. And while the again So